How do you know if it's recording? Did you press the red button? Yeah, but I don't see any. Then it's probably recording. I don't see that. Yeah, there we go. It's recording. Okay. Good morning, guys. Welcome to today's episode from Bar 7 Ranch. Me and Clance today are getting ready to use our new spray rig. We've been waiting all summer. I don't really like spraying weeds, but it's part of the part of the job we have to do around here. And we've got a new spray rig at the beginning of spring, but we didn't have enough rain to have to spray any weeds. But we've got some recently, and we've got some devil's claws that are popping up in our coastal field that we sprigged this spring, and we want to get those taken care of because one devil's claw will put out, you know, 30 or 40 other devil's claws, and before you know it, you just overrun. So um, the sheep won't eat it. Normally we would use sheep for our weed control, but they won't eat that or cockle burrs on our place. So we're gonna do a little how-to video for you guys today. So with our new spray rig, um, this works with any spray rig if you're ever trying to figure out how much spray you need, how much chemical, how much fertilizer, whatever you're mixing in your sprayer, how much you're gonna cover, what you, how much you need to mix in there. So um, we're gonna assume that we don't have any idea how much our spray nozzles are gonna put out. So the first thing we need to do is we wanna figure out what our volume is putting out. So um, here on the side of our sprayer, we have a pressure gauge and we have some controls here that tell our our sprayer, you know, we can select the side of the boom we want to come on. So we're using this boomless nozzle here. And we're gonna, so we're gonna run the outside two switches. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna run this thing for about, oh, this thing's putting out a lot of pressure, a lot of volume. So um, you wanna set it at the, the pressure that you think you're gonna normally operate at. And you just wanna catch some water. Either you wanna catch a gallon or you wanna run it for a certain amount of time. Um, what we're gonna try to do is I'm gonna try to catch about two and a half gallons in here. I'm gonna see if I can find that spot in this bucket. And we'll give y'all a little mark here. So, well, there's liters, quarts. Four quarts in a gallon, right? Well, let's just run it. I'm going to put me a mark in here, guys. So, right here at eight. That's going to run two gallons of water in here. So, we're going to run it and see how long it takes to get two gallons put in there. So I'm gonna put this in here. I've kinda of already adjusted my spray nozzles so that for the most part it's gonna go in there. Clance is gonna crank the buggy up and then I'm gonna start it and we're gonna see what happens. So I'm gonna turn my nozzles on, I'm gonna turn the spray on and I'm gonna start my watch. So what we're doing here is we're gonna catch this water all the way up to my black line, and then that'll tell me how many gallons per minute we're putting out, basically. So this baby's pumping out some fluids, guys. We just hit 30 seconds and we're nearly to two gallons already. So 45 seconds. So in 45 seconds, you can see we put out right at two gallons of water. So Bub, you can go ahead and turn that off. All right guys, so I wrote this down for you to make it easy and you can pause your screen and see if, see if it, uh, let it help you. So right here is what we did. So we ran two gallons in 45 seconds, okay? There's 60 seconds in one minute and there's 60 minutes in one hour. So if we do our multiplication across and use this little chart, we can figure out how many gallons per hour this spray rig will spray with those nozzles running at the pressure that we have it set at. So if I do that real quick, I'm just gonna go all the way across on that. I'm gonna do my old calculator out here. 2 times 60 times 60 equals that, divided by 45 equals, so 160 gallons an hour is what this spray rig will spray. 
we're going to need that when we get ready to figure out how much chemical to put in here because this is a 60 gallon tank so that means basically you can run about three tanks an hour out of this tank um, whether you're sitting still or you're going 50 miles an hour it doesn't matter because the pressure and the volume that it's putting out never changes the only thing that's going to change is your speed so what we need to realize is that we can put out 160 gallons per hour with this with this sprayer i'm going to back that off to about no we're going to leave that right there 160 gallons an hour so the next thing we need to do is figure out how many acres per hour we think we can cover with our buggy and then we can start figuring out how much chemical we need to meet, mix in each batch of our uh, solution. So when we get ready to spray our devil's claws, we get the right amount put out. We're not putting out too much and not too little. So I'm going to come back and I'm going to show you how to figure that. Okay, guys. So we know how much volume our spray rig is putting out. It's putting out 160 gallons per hour. Okay. Um, so now we need to figure out how big, uh, how much area we can cover with our spray rig. So to do that, you take the speed that you'll be traveling times the width of your spray boom or your plow or whatever you're dragging behind you times 0.1212. What 0.1212 is, is the way you get to that number is there's 5,280 feet in one mile and you divide that by 43,560 square feet in one acre and what that'll give you when you do this calculation when you do the your speed times your width times 0.1212 you'll come up with your acres per hour that you'll cover with your piece of equipment whatever you're using there so in our case we're going to be traveling about 10 miles an hour our spray boom is going to cover about 30 feet in one swath so times 0.1212 you come up with 36.4 acres per hour so with that figured now we know how many acres an hour we're going to cover. We know roughly what our spray rig is going to do per hour as far as its volume. So if I take that 160 acres, I mean gallons per hour, and I divide it by 60 gallons in my spray rig, I'm going to come up with roughly 2.5. I'm going to allow for a little overlap. It's a little more than 2.5. So I can run 2.5 spray rigs full of fluid through here okay um, with that said all right guys so based off of what we figured so far we know that in an hour's time we're going to run two and a half tanks of, of chemical through our spray rig okay we're going to cover 36 acres in that in an hour's time so if we divide 36 by two and a half times that tells us that each spray tank each tank that we mix up in here is going to cover roughly 14 acres 14 and a half acres we're just going to call it 14 because we're going to have some overlap in there here and there so 14 acres this is important because we're when we mix our chemical in we're going to mix pints to the acre so we're going to put one pint of broadleaf weed killer in our tank for every acre we're going to spray so we need to be able to put 15 pints of chemical into our spray rig fill it up with water and we know we're going to cover about 15 acres i hope this helps guys it's uh it's not as hard as it looks and it seems just catch a, a, a volume in your spray out from your spray tips that way you know how much they're putting out figure out how fast you're going that'll tell you how many acres per hour or feet you know however you want to figure it that direction and then just do the math like that it's that simple okay so i don't know where you and dad ended but now we're out here and you're fixing to go actually spray now right yep so you're filling her up yep you gotta fill it all the way up or what yep all right well we're filling her up and then we're gonna go spray so that little red ball has to get all the way to the top the red ball is floating. oh so the red ball's not floating okay there it goes okay we'll see you in the field He's starting to spray. Should only take about 20 minutes to spray this pasture, I think is what they said.
All right, guys, so these are the devil's claws that we're trying to spray right here. This is one of the weeds that we're trying to get rid of. Let's see if they've got any pods on them. Okay, so right here, here's a devil's claw pod right here. I can't see in the sunlight, but those are devil's claws and they are nasty boogers. We've talked about them before in a video. Trying to find a dry one around here so I can show you what they look like when they fall off, when they dry out and fall off. They are no bueno. All right, so I found one for you right here. This is a devil's claw and this one's kind of split open, but this is what it looks like. I don't know if it's focusing on it because it's too bright out here. But what happens is these things right here, these little hooks will get stuck on a cow snout or anywhere on their body and they don't come off very easy. So they are annoying little boogers. So we're trying to kill those things. And these pods have seeds in them when they spread open, they'll pollinate some more. So gotta get rid of them. Don't y'all love my explanations? They're so good, like even better than Cody's, right? <laughs> All right, so Clance is gonna keep spraying and I'm gonna go back to work. He's doing a good job. Guys, I hope this helps. Just let us know if you got any questions in the, in the comment section below. We'll help you as much as we can. Like and subscribe and as always, y'all keep ranching.